Hello friends, playing with numbers. This is a chapter which uh, finds applicability right from class 6 onwards and uh, number system is an unavoidable part of class 9th and 10th syllabus also. So a basic understanding of uh, numbers is very much required for success in higher competitive exams as well. So today I am going to take up one such interesting concept in uh, numbers which is known as cryptorhythms. So cryptorhythms are basically some kind of a kind of puzzles involving numbers in which we have to find some digits or some numbers in a given uh, equation or in a given calculation. Like for example, suppose I write 1 a now a is a single digit number multiplied by a should give you 9a now i have to find the value of a now this is a simple cryptorhythm because finding the value of a should be very easy here why because we have to multiply the single digit by both the digits now if you multiply this by this you have to get the same digit. So, which number multiplied by itself gives you the same digit in the units place? It is either 1 into 1, which is 1. See, 2 into 2 is 4. So, if this is 2, then here we cannot have uh, 4, uh, 2 because 2 into 2 becomes 4. Now, 3 into 3 is again 9, different digit. 4 into 4. 16 so 6 comes in the units place again a different digit 5 into 5 yeah that's one thing we can think of 5 into 5 is 25 so we can have a 5 in the units place again 6 into 6 is 36 again 6 in the units place again 6 is a possibility here 7 into 7 is 49 so does not uh, have 7 in the units place 8 into 8 is 64 not possible 9 into 9 is 81 again 1 so not possible obviously 0 cannot come here 0 into 0 is uh, everything becomes 0 now out of these three we have to see which one is correct now you can use hit and trial take one by one and keep on eliminating the wrong responses you will get to the final answer if we take 1 and 1 here this becomes 91 11 into 1 is not 91 so this possibility is cancelled let's take 5 so this becomes 15 and this becomes 5 15 into 5 is 75 not 95 so this is also cancelled how about 6 6 makes it 16 and 6 16 into 6 is 96 that is correct so the value of a comes out to be 6 e. now this is how you solve a simple cryptogram now, cryptorhythms are very, very common for uh, junior students. And so, I am going to solve one equation in which I will have more than one unknown digit. Like here, we have only one unknown digit uh, denoted by A. So, we can have multiple unknown digits also. So, let us take some videos in which we can sort out and understand some method through which we can solve and uh, get to the values of the unknown digits uh, in minimum amount of time. So let's take a cryptorhythm equation. Now I am going to take up a simple equation AB. Now mind you all the alphabets which I am writing here they denote digits. So A is a digit, B is a digit therefore ab is a two digit number so this is ab i'll put a bar on this it denotes that ab is a two digit number plus ba again a two digit number so if suppose this is 23 then this is 32 equal to now the value of this sum is given as a three digit number D A D. Now this is a three digit number. Now we have to find the values of A, B and D. Now this is the question. 
So friends, how do we solve this? Can we apply hit and try method here? Because that is going to consume a lot of time because you have three different digits. So if you take permutations and combinations of A, B and D, then it is a long, long process. So let's see how we can simplify this with little bit of logic. Now the first thing to understand here is that A, B and D here are two digit numbers and the digits are interchanged in both the numbers. So if we take the sum of these two numbers, the maximum value of AB plus BA, if I take both the digits A and B as 9, then this becomes 99 and the reverse number also becomes 99. So the sum, the maximum sum should be 998, so 18, 19, 198. But if A and B both are 9s, then 198 cannot be the answer because first digit and the last digit given here are same, D and D. So if these two are same, then automatically 198 gets rejected. So 99 is not the answer, but I was just telling you that the maximum value of this sum AB plus BA can be 198. So DAD cannot exceed 198. Now one thing is clear from this observation that first and third digits are same. So this is a three digit number. D cannot be obviously equal to 0. Why? Because this is a three digit number. So if D becomes 0, then this is a two digit number. So D cannot be equal to 0. That means D has to be 1. How did I write this? Why? Because the maximum value of this three digit number is 198. So all the numbers which are below 198 have 1 in the 100 place and it is a 3 digit number so I cannot have D equal to 0. So only possible value of D is 1. So one thing is done by one observation D is equal to 1. Now let's talk of the other part. A 2 digit number AB how do we represent a two digit number? Now suppose we have a number 37. How do we write the, the expanded form of this? This is the ones place, so 7 will come as it is. This is the tens place, so 10 into 3, 30 plus 7, 37. So this is the expanded form of a two digit number. So if the number is AB, then AB the two digit number can be written as 10a plus b because a is in the tens place like here 3 was in the tens place so I multiplied that by 10. So 10 into 3 plus 7 likewise ab can be written ab can be written as 10 into a plus b. Likewise if you see here ba, ba can be written as 10 into b plus a because here the tens place is B, so 10 into B plus the unit digit A is equal to now the entire number on the right hand side becomes if you substitute D as 1 here, this is starting with 1, then another digit A in between and ending with 1. So I have substituted the value of D here and written A, B and B, A in, in their expanded forms. So you can combine the like terms now 10a plus a is 11a and 10b plus b is 11b gives you 1a1. 11 comes common here a plus b is equal to 1a1. So note that 
on the left hand side i have a common factor 11 so if these two factors is equal to this three digit number then obviously this 11 should be a factor of 1a1 so that means this three digit number 1a1 is divisible by 11 that means so i'll write it here for you this is implies 1a1 is divisible by 11 now you know the divisibility rule of 11 divisibility rule of 11 states that the numbers at the odd places sum of the numbers at the odd places and even places the difference should be divisible by 11 what are the possible values so i'll write this equation as one i'll use this later possible values of 1a1 one one are 1 1 1 if a is also 1 1 2 1 1 3 1 so on up to i'll write okay i'll write all the digits here so that we can cancel out which are not possible and we will end up finding the answer automatically so these are the possible values of 1a1 now for 1a1 see if, even if you take 101 101 is not divisible by 11 111 is not divisible by 11 121 is divisible 131 is not divisible not divisible again not divisible see all these are not divisible by 11 so nothing is divisible by 11 only 121 is divisible by 11 so that means the value if you compare this 1a1 with 121 this will give you the value of a as 2 so now we have obtained the value of b also and the value of a also all that remains is to find the value of b now so from the first equation you can get to your answer now so from first equation 11 times a a means 2 so 2 plus b is equal to if you put 2 here this becomes 121 that means so 11 cancels out exactly 11 times so 2 plus b comes out to be 11 thereby giving you the value of b as 9 so now you have all the values b is 1 a is 2 and b is 9 friends i have explained you each and every step by consuming so much time because i wanted you to understand what cryptorhythms uh, are so this is a very simple cryptorhythm and this is a little bit of complicated cryptorhythm but with little bit practice you can surely master this skill so i'll give you one more cryptorhythm to solve and uh, in my subsequent videos and uh, then we will be taking up little bit of complicated examples you can verify this i have found out the values c a is 2 b is 9 if you substitute here this becomes 29 this becomes 92 so 29 plus 92 is 121 which is the exact thing we will obtain by substituting the value of b and a here b is 1 and a is 2 so 121 29 plus 92 is 121 so friends if you like this video do share it with all those friends who are studying in class 6th and above so that they can understand and develop this basic you know comprehension which is required for success in higher competitive exams so share it with all those students and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done till now